Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for episode 2 of season 3 of Fighter Jet Showdown. And today we're doing our battle at Cola Crater. Yes, I've, uh, people were asking about the mod. It's Curb Inside, which adds a bunch of bases. Um, so yeah, we've come to Cola Crater, a nice little bit of land near the ocean. And we have two jets to start with. And the first jet is the MDL F 25 BN2 Fencer, which is a long name. And this comes from, um, Zwan? I, I'm sorry, it starts with an X, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, but I think Zwan. Um, yeah, sorry if I am mispronouncing that, but yeah, these are really nice, actually. These are some good-looking aircraft. They, um, I don't know, they look kind of just, you know, fairly, you know, Sukhoi F-15E, all of these things. And they've got this nice little kind of almost dual wing at the front, and their air intakes look good. They just look good. They're just nice aircraft. And these will be going up against the X-Ray Tenkins, um, which come to me from Maximus Light, who of course made the X-Ray Lightnings in the last competition, which did make them to... did they make... I think they made it to the final, actually, um, and actually did quite well. They were some pretty serious craft, so um, it's good to see a return from Maximus with uh, some new aircraft. It'll be interesting to see if these uh, stand up as well as the previous ones. Anyway, let's get them right into the air and hopefully fighting and hopefully not like crashing into stuff because this is actually kind of a short runway. Oh my god, take off. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Everything's good. It's just... It's much easier when you have a lot of flat land. I guess I could do one in the Arctic and that'd be really easy. Um, ooh, avoiding each other there. No one's crashing, are they? That would be extremely annoying. Um, and yes, so in the last episode there was a lot of missile kills. It appears that missiles have become much more effective in uh, the new, semi-new BD Armory. The slightly updated BD Armory. I'm not sure about the... There's a very new BD Armory coming with like stealth or something, but I, uh, I don't really... I haven't really seen much of that. Anyway, okay, so... The fight is starting. Who will fire first? These guys have turned around very quickly. These guys look like they've, his wingman's fired the missile first. Um, look like these guys are having a little trouble, but okay, the tanking gets away in missile. Will they be able to dodge the missiles, though? That is the question. We've got one coming in for this guy's wingman right now. Oh no, it's just going over. Missiles have gotten weird. They, some of them are really effective, some of them just sort of miss. That guy's fired a missile at a missile? What are you doing? Oh no, you're like calling your shot. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> and okay, yeah, diving down. Pretty good. Looks like everyone's dodging. These guys are doing... Ooh, yeah, ooh. <laughs> They're doing a pretty good job of dodging missiles. But now the guns come in from the X-Ray Tenkins. And ooh, the bullets are looking like they might load it up. This guy's doing a great job of dodging. The X-Ray Tenkin almost takes out this like melee style. Um, the other Tenkin has taken out this guy's wingman beautifully there. Now it is two... You know, it's two on one. This guy having trouble. Didn't get a shot away there. Um, he doesn't have ammo and guns, all is good, but it looks like he just didn't line it up. The Tenkin's really kind of owning the skies right now, but oh, will this guy get a kill? It looks like he will, and he takes him down, but he's taking fire from the Tenkin's wingman and gets hit by a piece of debris. What the fuck happened there? It's dislodged an air intake. This is madness. Will he take the kill? Oh my god, he did! <laughs> oh wow, oh wow, it really looked like this guy was down and out for a second there. He was taking fire but he killed a guy, did a sick tactical maneuver where he hit part of the plane, flipped around and killed, well, a, a plane with some pedigree, quite the uh, quite the veteran. Um, <laughs> so yeah, very well done to um, Tazuan. This is a really interesting plane that had a little bit of luck there, but that was really awesome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to the next round of the qualifier. So, the next craft that will be going up will be the D01 Starfire from Gemini, Gemini, <clears throat> Gemini Kid. And these are pretty cool. They're called Starfires because they look kind of like stars. Um, he sent me a bunch of craft, but I looked at this and I was like, that's nice, I want to put this in. Uh, I don't know if it's the best, but it does look the most like a star. So, gold star for you. And it just generally looks like a pretty good uh, aircraft. Forward swept wings, big canards at the back, it's small, hard to hit. Pretty well armed. It's looking pretty good. And these will be going up against the X204s, the X204s, which come to me from Matthew. And uh, yeah, these are pretty nice. They're quite big, which might make them vulnerable to um, to missiles. But they do have big wings, which should make them uh, pretty maneuverable. Is what I was going for there. And uh, they do have four cannons in a square at the front. That's a lot of cannons. 
Um, and actually right in the front will make it easier to aim, I guess. Uh, and yeah, they're pretty nice. Lots of custom, like, custom back canard sort of things. They look pretty good. And they've also got two engines and all of that. Anyway, let's get them into the air. Make sure I have quick saved. And let's go! Alright, hopefully everyone will take off in time. Um, these guys actually have a ramp at this end if they don't, but I think... Oh, they all did anyway. Um, all is good. Now they must get into position. These guys streaking away. Who's faster at this point? Actually, these guys. Interesting. They look like the heavier aircraft, but maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Anyway, all right. So get to eight kilometers usually. I think, as long as they don't turn the same way like last time, where they just started following each other. And it's like, oh my god, you just ugh. anyway. <laughs> Stop reliving past BD Armory trauma and start going. These guys sticking together pretty nicely, actually. That's quite uh, often the craft don't stick together too well. All right, moving in. Who will fire first? These guys not turning super fast, actually. Um, who will fire first? Looks like these guys should be. There we go. We've got a lock. No, oh, it looks like these guys are firing their missiles first. These guys following them up very quickly, though, and starting to dive low. We've got a missile coming in on this guy, I think. Yes, it looks like it is coming in on this guy. Will he be able to dodge, or will he be taken down by a missile? It looks like that is really coming in for him. If he can turn real quick, that'd be great, but ooh, that was really close. And that guy's also got a missile coming in, and it strikes him in the back and kills him. No missiles have killed the Starfires. That was pretty intense, actually. There was a pretty serious maneuver he was pulling, but not enough to dodge a missile. Now, is this guy going to get away or going to go? Wow, that was pretty impressive. Does this guy even have chaff? I don't think he does. This is just amazing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's not popping flares or chaff or anything. That's actually quite impressive. You Okay, future, put chaff and flares on this, but for now, that's quite impressive, but he was stripped apart by bullets because he was spent so much time dodging um, missiles, but yes, the DO-1 Starfire is the victor, but I have to say, given that the other plane didn't have any chaff and it kept dodging missiles, that's that's pretty good. Kind of wish there was chaff and, uh, and flares on it. But anyway, so the Starfire will be going through to the semi-finals, but who else will be going? Let's go find out. So the next round of the semi-final will be between the YF-7A Sparrowhawk, which comes to me from Scott, and uh, this is really nice. It's kind of got a really whale-built sort of body out of wings, although that often um, adds a lot of drag, but it could add a lot of lift and maneuverability. It's got a really interesting uh, kind of back canard system, and it just generally is quite a nice plane. Um, these will be going up against the Empav Raptor Mark III's. These come to me from um, O-Ray? I'm going to say O-Ray. I'm, pro I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. I've also noticed in your email that you said this uh, was, wasn't your actual submission, but I, I jumped on it and I was like, Empire Raptor Mark III. It was if you watch Collaborative Warfare, you'll know that my planes were called Empire Raptors, my VTOLs. So I was like, oh my god, and I didn't look at his actual submission. Maybe I'll actually include yours in another one, just because uh, <laughs> I probably should have taken the one you actually submitted. But still, I got excited. It was called Empath Raptor Mark III, and this does look a little bit like my Empath Saber, so uh, all is cool. Anyway, let's get them into the air and start fighting. Um, <laughs> yeah, I often read back through the emails when I'm about to um, when I'm about to launch the craft. And I'm like, oh, I fucked something up. <laughs> anyway, uh, yes. Yeah, so these are now getting into the air. These are looking a little slower actually, but they are quite draggy um, because they have a lot of wings. But they do look nice. And there, uh, you know, uh, the extra lift might help. Ooh, ooh, you're having trouble there, buddy. You okay there, buddy? Please don't hit the ground straight away. <laughs> That'd be no good. Okay, oh, vertical. Oh, my God. How's the other one doing? See, this guy can fly fine. What's your problem? <laughs> He's fine. He'll be fine. They are almost at starting level, though, and this guy's kind of fucked up a little bit. But, uh, who knows? <laughs> are we good? Wait, can we go? Oh, uh, they've split apart. Ah, uh, BD Armory doesn't know what to do. Well, we'll let it figure it out. Could you just climb better? Could... What the hell happened? I'm blaming BD Armory for this, because this one's flying fine. Okay, so we're going again. Had to do some setting up, but yes. Uh, I guess I'll follow these guys in the hope that they're just... BD Armory just panics under pressure and <laughs> won't fuck up this time. <laughs> or I don't know. Anyway, go kill each other. Just do some murder. Who will fire first? Let's find out. Um, it looks like these guys might, actually. It's probably due to their large amount of wing surfaces, their ability to turn quickly. But we've got missiles coming in from both sides pretty quickly. This guy is, ooh, yeah, flipped out a touch a little bit. Oh. Hmm. That might be part of it, you know? <laughs> is my phone going? All right, I'm back. I just go do a thing. But okay. 
What's happened? Someone's fallen, someone's missiles. Who will win? Who knows? That guy just kind of flipped out a bit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I maybe should have taken the guy's other aircraft because these are a little bit flippy, but uh hey, you know, live and learn. Uh looks like there's a missile going in for one of these sparrowhawks, but they're not hidden. I think we're good. And these guys, they keep coming back. They they you never know. Sometimes crazy bullshit happens in this show. Anyway, go murder each other with guns. It's far more interesting. Ooh, someone is murdering someone with guns. The Sparrowhawk coming in, lighting up one of the Empire Raptors, but pulls out quickly for some reason. Maybe he's being chased off by a missile. Who knows? Another missile going in for the Empire. Ooh, this guy's gonna crash into the ground. Ooh, just gets out of there. One of the Empires is taken down, and now it is just two on one, and gunfire is coming in from one of the uh, Sparrowhawks. Flies past beautifully. Um, but does not secure the kill. This guy just flips around to get some shots. Seriously, he can just... Oh no, he's spinning out. I thought he was doing mad tactical maneuvers, but no, he's just being shredded now. <laughs> he's still alive. It's not over. It's... The Empath Raptor is the greatest plane because it's uh, named after my plane. <laughs> this is such a mess. This wing's like stuck and it's still flying. What the fuck is happening? He's getting away. <laughs> He's flying sideways. The madness. One of the Sparrowhawks almost hits the ground. <laughs> he's still flying. It's not over till he's dead. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful when he pops flares, man. But no, he, he'll probably be dead quite soon. Look at this guy bearing down on him. Can't keep up with the madness, though, really. <laughs> and it looks like he'll hit the ground now. Unless he can get out, because I'm happy to watch this forever. <laughs> um, yeah, the other jet coming in now to try and finish the job. This guy's too fast, too squirrely, man. Look at that, though. Beautiful chase. Lights him up, takes him out, and uh, buzzes off. Nice. All right, so, <laughs> yeah. Next time I read emails, I should read them all the way through and pick the right craft. But this was still fun to watch, and the uh, Sparrowhawks do go through to the semi-final. So the next craft that we'll be going up will be the XF-30 Manticores, which come to me from Daryl. And these are pretty cool. They uh, look... Kind of futuristic. They've got kind of these spikes at the front for spike and stuff. I guess they could get some melee kills, maybe. Who knows? And they will be going up against the SF-23 Vanquire. These come to me from Samuel. And, uh, yeah, these are pretty nice. They've got kind of small wings, but um, they do look pretty cool. And they are kind of small, which may help. So, yeah, who knows who will win? That's why we're doing this. Let's find out. All right. Uh, <laughs> these are also look like they're just single-engined and they're using ramjets, which is... Um, an interesting, an interesting, uh, an interesting kind of choice because uh, it reduces maneuverability but does increase top speed. But it does reduce uh, takeoff time. Although they did have that ramp, I don't know if they used it. These guys just collided and oh, and good, they exploded. That's that's real useful. Okay, going again. Uh, <laughs> that's the problem with doing this from these little runways. Is it really, uh, <laughs> really? Makes it a little tighter on takeoff, and no, they just get away. Um, oh, I don't have any of the shit up. Okay. Um, but yeah, hopefully these will be maneuverable enough, given they have like a bunch of canards and quite a lot of wings, even though they're not using gimbaling engines. The gimbaling engine really does help. Um, but I guess we'll see. These guys, of course, have quite small wings. Maybe it will be very evenly matched. That's what we'll find out. We're doing science here. Although not even slightly are we doing so. This is pretty far from science. <laughs> if science were this fun, I'd be a scientist. I mean... <laughs> It's mostly, in real life, just staring at boards of equations, right? That sounds... Oh, yeah. Uh, ooh, fucking hell. Missiles coming away from uh, Manticores straight away. They must have turned instantly. I wasn't really following them. It uh, looks like these are the more maneuverable. Um, clearly, I misjudged their use of a ramjet instead of a uh, afterburning turbojet. But the uh, Vanquer gets away a missile now. This one's going, like, fucking uh, supersonic over here. Trying to escape uh, missiles. It looks like they are escaping them. He's drawn the missiles away. This guy going in for the kill. But now it's basically two on one until his guy gets here. And he's taken fire. Will he get shredded by the manacle? No, he manages to get away. He's just going so freaking fast. These are extremely fast aircraft. But the other one is now 12 kilometers away and may have just left. I, I don't know what to do about that. Um, and <laughs> this guy is just getting murdered. Well, he's not yet, but now is getting murdered by uh, the guns of the manticores. Um, that's not ideal. He's still alive, though. I mean, he's lost his wings, but he's all right. He'll be fine. And he's just drawing them away so that his bro can get here and murder them from behind. Um, but uh, now it's looking like he is down and out. Is this guy coming back? Oh, he is. He's coming back with a vengeance. There's somehow bullets here. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened there. But anyway, he's going so fast the aircraft is actually shaking. That's pretty crazy. 
and he's actually throttled down. Now he's got missiles coming away. Will he take it? Was this all just a tactical move? Did he give the life of his wingman to win? Um, <laughs> who knows? Let's find out. Looks like the missile's falling pretty short. Um, uh, but now the guns of the Manticore come in. This guy not actually firing, it doesn't look like. Uh, looks... Ooh, no, now he's got a Manticore right on his tail. It clearly wasn't a ploy. He was just scared of missiles and now has been shredded by guns. And all is over. Unless he can get a shot now. I mean, have you got any bullets, man? No, not so much. You do. Just shoot him. You've got a shot right there. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so the XF-30 Manticores go through to the semi-finals. Let's, <clears throat> Let's go and see the semi-finals right now. Okay, so of course the semi-final is between the uh, D-01 Starfire and the um, MDL F-25 BN-2 Fencer, which is still quite a long designation. Let's get them into the air, see who will win, see who will go to the final, and get a chance at going to the grand finale. Um, the Starfire's taking off second, but uh, who knows who will win. These are quite small. I, I think small might be the way to go. I, th I kind of... Actually, I don't think small ends up winning the whole competition, but it does quite good because it doesn't get hit by missiles so frequently because it's there's less thing to hit. Same with bullets, I guess. Anyway, hopefully they'll get to their start positions quickly. Hopefully no one will run 10 kilometers away like before, and hopefully the fight will be glorious. This has been a much more gunny episode than last time where it was mostly missile kills. It's been quite nice to see. The first fight was really impressive, actually. I think, well, most of them have been. Anyway, it is kill time. Let's go kill some people. Who will turn around first? It looks like they turn around pretty much the same. These guys get missiles away first, though, and that is some nice control. They turn around in just unison and fire missiles in unison. You rarely see that kind of, like, consistency for some reason, which is weird because they're the same aircraft. Anyway, these guys are having to dodge missiles now, not being able to get away any of their own... Um, where's this guy's wingman? Oh, dodging with him. Okay, and the missiles appear to miss. Um, yeah, this should call missiles. Ha ha ha. Missile burn and ooh, one goes in and almost hits the freaking uh, hits a freaking starfire But doesn't quite get him and now there's guns coming from one of these fences and it's coming in to ooh, 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 There's there's a lot of gunfire going on right now. It looks like the starfire's getting some shots away it Looks like this guy's doing the real work right now But has turned turned around has stopped firing and now it looks like almost a joust except this guy isn't firing It is shredded by the fencer now it is two on one and um, ooh, Where are you at starfire? Looks like he's just running away, but will he turn around and get a kill in time? He has missiles locked onto him. He's going to have serious trouble. There's one coming right for him, and he's popped a missile away, but will he be able to dodge in time? And now there's gunfire coming for him, and it looks like he may well be not long for this world. Um, quite quickly shredded. There we go. It looks like this guy got both of the kills and a beautiful flyby after the kill. That's rather nice to see. Um, <laughs> well, that was a bit of a, well, a bit of a one-sided fight, really. I mean, I think it, this guy could have won by himself. Anyway, so this will be going to the finals. Let's see who will be joining them there. So, the final round of the semi-finals, of course, between the XF-30 Manticores and the YF-7A Sparrowhawks. Let's get them into the air. Um, kind of a big size disparity right there. I'm hoping these guys will take off in time. I didn't put them on the ramp end of the runway. Maybe that was a little bit... Can I do it myself? Yeah, I can. Okay. <laughs> oh, it would have been fine anyway. I was just making sure. Alright, that may have slowed him down a touch, but it's fine. Alright, so the Sparrowhawks will hopefully get into the air and not fuck up again. Um, because <laughs> that was really annoying. Um... And yeah, it's looking good. It'll be interesting to see who will win. These guys, I, if I were a betting man, <laughs> I'd put my money probably on these guys. I think they're probably just faster and they're extremely maneuverable because they've got a lot of, uh, well, two, you know, very movable canards, quite big canards. And uh, they're mostly wing, really. I mean, the one engine makes them quite light. Um, they carry, you know, a reasonable amount of fuel. But anyway, we'll find out right now. That's why we do this. I don't know why I speculate so much. But it's interesting to, you know, see if I'm right. And these turn so quickly. These have turned pretty quickly, though. It should be a pretty good fight, actually. Um, I really do like how these look. They look, they look sort of futuristic, really. Um, anyway, so yes, lots of, lots of fire going away. Lots of people hopefully not dying from missile kills, because that is the most boring way to be killed in one of these competitions. The best way is an intense dogfight, which ends in one of you just being shredded by the other. All right, someone's got missiles coming in. Is it you? Ooh, he's dodging fine, though. All right, so, okay, they're moving hopefully into gun range. Yes, they have moved into gun range now, and it looks like this guy's already getting shots on uh, onto one of the manticores. This guy moving in, looks like someone's lighting someone up. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff going on. More likely over here. Okay, <laughs> they fly past each other. 
No one dies, everyone's fine. Missiles blowing up in the sky, who knows what the hell's happening. Doesn't look like there's any gunfire currently, but maybe a sidewinder coming in as this guy's popping flares. Um, will he manage to get away in time? Now he's probably chaff with that Amaranth coming in, or they just generally pop both. Who knows? I am deeply just hard to... I, oh, he gets taken out by a missile! Jesus Christ, I did not see that coming. I was so confused about where everything was. Now it is two on one. Who will win? Will it be the Manticore? And, ooh, they almost collide in the air. That was quite impressive, actually. Um, they were doing it while spinning. That was like ballet, except with murder. Um, which, you know, sometimes... Isn't there a film about ballet and murder? I don't know. I don't really remember. Um, oh, and this guy is shredded by the Sparrowhawks. That is... Oh, not yet. No, now he's shredded by the Sparrowhawks and will no doubt hit the ground. That is quite impressive. I honestly didn't think the Sparrowhawks would take it. And, ooh, almost hits the ground. Seriously, these keep surprising me. They're doing a very good job. Except that one time when one of them kind of decided to go the other way. But, you know, other than that, they're doing a great job as fighters. And these will be going through to the finals against the fences. Quite an interesting day. Let's see who shall win and go to the semi-final. No, to the grand finale. What am I talking about? So, here we are at the final between the Sparrowhawks from Scott and the Fences from uh, Zwan. I think... I'm so sorry, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but, you know, it's one sounds about right. Um, anyway, let's get them into the air so that they can start fighting to see who will win, who will be the king of kings, who will, uh, well, get the chance to go to the grand finale and do this all over again against the best of the best. That will be, well, to prove they are the best of the best, I guess. Um, it will be, uh, well, quite an intense fight. These guys almost colliding. Please don't collide. I don't want to... Put them out of it. No, they're fine. <laughs> okay, they just dinged each other a bit. It was just a tactical, uh, tactical brofest is what that was. Um, these guys getting up to altitude. I am genuinely... Oh, don't do this again. Oh, what is happening? Why are you about to hit the ground? It's fine. He fixed it. Okay. Yes, that is the only downfall of this is sometimes it sort of tries to go downward for no reason. I don't know. Hopefully these will just start the fight because... Oh, my God. <laughs> I hate having to restart these. It's always slightly annoying, especially quick loading on these runways. It always bounces quite a lot. Come on, those 8km, just do it. Just fight. Just... Fuck it. Go. Alright! Everyone's fighting, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll just do it manually. Sometimes you gotta do that. Looks like these guys are turning first. Um, maybe getting missiles away first. Oh no, this guy's also getting a missile away at a good time. This guy is still climbing. That's a problem, but that seems to be endemic in the aircraft. I mean, something is, is a little squirrely about this. Um, squirrelier than I'd like. But it is turning around now and should get some missiles away. And uh, we will see who will be the victor. That guy's going low. These guys seem to go low to dodge missiles. It's not a fantastic technique. Uh, I don't know why different aircraft have different techniques at dodging aircraft. Isn't it all the uh, dodging missiles? So isn't it all the same AI? I mean, I don't know. About eight kilometers out now, still firing missiles. Someone suggested I should do these from longer away because the missiles have changed how they work, which maybe I should do, although I've kind of already started this series. Maybe next series I'll do this differently. Looks like that missile's getting a pretty good lock on the... Ooh, ooh, there's one coming in right for a Sparrowhawk, and ooh, takes him out. It explodes right next to the aircraft. Hopefully there will be a bit of a gunfighting in, uh, <laughs> in the final battle. Oh, yes, it looks like we're going to have a serious joust now. But it is two on one. It is not looking good for the Sparrowhawk. And bullets strip through the wings. It is ripped apart by the fences. Just no contest. This guy almost getting shot by his own man. Flying through the debris rather beautifully. That was a rather quick fight for, for, uh, for a final. But still, really proves how amazing these fences are. Uh, congratulations to Zwan. Um, I again apologize for mispronouncing your name probably. Uh, but these aircraft are truly fantastic and uh, have clearly, uh, well, clearly outdone everything today and, well, I think have a pretty good idea, a pretty good chance of winning the whole thing. They'll be going to the grand finale. So yes, this is the end of the episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any craft of your own, get them sent in um, because, well, I, yeah, need more craft, you know? Oh, well, I actually already have, like, a million. But still, it's always good to have more because then, you know, there's more options. Um, and yeah. So yes, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been episode 2 of season 3 of um, Fighter Jet Showdown. I will see you next time.